Hello, my name is Rob and today I'm going to eat some cheese. Welcome to Rob's Random, this is a channel where I do whatever I want. And recently I have gone vegetarian and I am trying my hardest to go vegan at the moment. Uh, one of the hardest things about going vegan for a lot of people is cheese. Because vegan cheese famously just isn't that good. Um, a lot of people told me that recently vegan cheese has gotten a lot better, so I scoured my local shops to try and find some cheeses that I thought I could try and see how good they are. So today we have three vegan cheeses that we are going to try. We have got a soft spread vegan cheese with garlic and herbs, which sounds quite nice. Uh, sounds like it should be like uh, Borsan, I think. We have got a block of mature plant-based cheese. Um, should hopefully be the closest to cheddar. Quite excited for that. And we have the one that a lot of vegan people have told me is really good, which is Applewood smoked vegan cheese, um, which, yeah, a lot of people have said, this is really good, try this. So I've got high hopes for this. So, um, we're going to try them and I'm going to compare them to actual cheese. I really like cheese, so uh, honestly I'm not expecting this to be anywhere near as good as real cheese, but as long as it's nice enough, that's fine. So as I open this first one I'll explain that yes, I've gone vegetarian the past month or so and yeah, I'm trying to go vegan. This is for animal rights reasons and also uh, environmentalism reasons. Apparently going vegan is one of the best ways that individuals can help with uh, their carbon footprint. So that's the other reason. Um, but yeah, I really like cheese. And that's the one thing that's basically stopping me from going vegan. So, this uh, plant-based mature cheese actually smells pretty good. It's got a bit of a weird sour note to it, which hopefully isn't in the taste as well. But it definitely has a, a, a smell Similar to cheese. So this is Plant Menu Viva La Vegan Mature Block Coconut Oil Based Source of Calcium Free from Milk Gluten Free. I don't know what is actually the name of the cheese. Is it just Mature Block? I don't really know. Right, so let's pack off a piece of this and see what we think. Let's give it a taste. Oh, that is... Softer and chewier than cheddar should be. I didn't actually get much of the taste there. I was distracted by the texture. <laughs> Let me try that again. Yeah. Only soft. It doesn't crumble like cheddar. The taste is kind of there. I don't hate the taste. Let's try it with a cracker and we'll see if that improves the flavour. That's not bad. This is my cat. Hold on. Should we see if the if my cat wants some cheese? It's an interesting test. Not the cheese? No? So yeah, with something else, this cheese is actually pretty good. It doesn't taste exactly like cheese. It wasn't ever going to, but as a substitution, it's not bad. And now let's try the um, soft spread with garlic and herbs. So I'm thinking this could be pretty good because it's got garlic and herbs in it. That again is going to, it's just a different flavour to distract from the fact that it isn't real cheese. So this is again plant menu, Viva La Vegan, soft spread with garlic and herbs, coconut oil based. I don't know what is actually the name of the cheese. Is it just soft spread? Don't know. Uh, right, so let's give this a go. It just smells like garlic. <laughs> let's give that a go. Get a nice bit on there. There's a weird thing of borsan that it does actually crumble a little bit. This is just smooth like butter. But I'd say the flavour here is really good. Again, it's mostly just garlic, but that's not a problem. Um, let's put some on a cracker again. This is an absolute winner. This is really nice. It is literally just like borsan, maybe smoother texture, but... Yeah, this is brilliant. Cool, I'm genuinely really shocked by that. No, no complaints at all. And now we have the one that I honestly have the highest hopes for because so many people told me, try the Applewood smoked cheese, it's really good. So this is creamy and smoky Applewood vegan bites, a Brit difference, perfect for your snacking and your lunchbox. Again, what is the name of the thing? Is it Applewood vegan bites? Maybe. 
Deliciously smoky, flavoured vegan bite with added calcium and vitamin B12. Specifically says vegan bites, but it only says suitable for vegetarians. Ah, produced in a facility handling milk, may contain milk. So this one is vegan in name only? Like, it could potentially not be vegan because it's produced in a factory that handles milk. I don't think that's a huge deal. Um, right, let's try one of these and see what it's like. I mean, it smells smoky. That's what we were expecting. Yeah, smells pretty much like the um, smoked cheese. So, again, high hopes. Mm. That is the texture of a cheese string. Interesting. Okay, again, I was distracted by the texture. I didn't know you get the taste. Let's try that again. I don't think it's that good. This, this was much better. And this is brilliant. I mean, it's not not comparison. It's a spreadable. Yeah, but this cheese, it's got the it's got the smokiness, but it hasn't really got anything else. If you're looking for something to replace a cheese string, yeah, this will probably do. That was a bit of a letdown. Uh, that's a shame. That is. So, um, applewood smoked vegan sort of stuff. It's the worst, but it's not. Terrible. I mean, I'm gonna eat the rest of these for what that's worth. It's not so bad I'm gonna throw it out immediately. Next up is the cheddar cheese, which is pretty good. It's got a few issues, uh, particularly with the texture, and it hasn't got the strongest taste. But in a sandwich or something, like, in, it, yeah, as a cheese sandwich with like tomato and other stuff in there, I think this would be all right. Um, and then we get to this one, the soft spread, which was genuinely fantastic. This is brilliant. If you're ever looking for a vegan spreadable cheese with garlic and herbs, get this. Genuinely, this was really good. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do click like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. My name is Rob and I will see you in another random video very soon.